Hello my friends, what's up, what's good, how are you, how are you doing today? So today I'm gonna put makeup up on my face piece and I'm gonna talk about Tati Westbrook and James Charles because I feel like, and here's the thing, this is the fourth time I've fucking filmed this. Uh, the first time I filmed it, it was like 60 minutes long so I was like, okay, no. It was really me like delving into like every perspective of the situation and I was like, this is just too much. I'm not a drama channel, the fuck. I just wanna like put my piece out there and say how I feel about the situation. The second time I filmed it, uh, I was doing a get ready with me and at the time I my feelings were not like stake in the ground they were not like my standalone this is how I feel you know you, you know what I'm saying I don't know what verbiage I'm looking for but it, I wasn't like strong on my feelings and trying to like form those opinions and do makeup at the same time was like okay it, it was just scattered the third time I filmed it was exactly what I wanted to say uh, I edited it and uploaded it and because uh, I always upload my videos on private first because then I go back through and monetize them. Um, I uploaded it and then Tati came out with her video and a lot of what I was saying in my video kind of conflicted what she said in her second video that she posted. So okay, I'm just going to fucking, oh I just rubbed my brows and I already did them, duh. I'm just going to put my makeup on and tell you guys how I feel. At one point, I thought about not doing this because I was like, I, this is just too much. You know what I mean? But then a lot of you guys on Instagram are like, no, no, I want to hear your feelings. So um, here's the deal. If you guys don't know what's going on, <laughs> do you live under a mountain? A mountain, yeah, not even a rock, a fucking mountain girl. Do you live under a mountain? Y'all know what's going on, so I'm not going to backstory anything because I don't feel like it's necessary. So here are my thoughts. Um, I do not feel like with the whole, you know, Tati thing. Let's, okay. First off, let me put this out there too. I got all these little doo-doos everywhere because I did a chemical peel and my skin is like not in the best condition right now because I did a very high chemical peel and I am peeling a little bit because I have put the chemical peel in some places I did not want to put it, but I filmed it so I wasn't really paying attention to what I was doing. So now I got this little scab on my nose and like the crevasses of my nose are, they're not cute girl, they're just not cute. Okay, so anyways, that's irrelevant. So I am going to speak on like the whole Tati video first and then I'll talk about James's apology um, and then I'll talk about her second video and here we go. Here we go. So as far as like Tati's video, here is my, I feel like maybe unpopular opinion. A lot of people um, were coming out and saying, and by the way too, <laughs> I keep putting all this shit in here. I, I y'all uh, give me a break. I filmed this four fucking times, so I don't want to miss anything this time and try to fucking do it again, right? I have watched video after video after video on this. Um, I've watched like opposing views. I've I mean dozens, dozens of videos on this because here's the thing. Uh, in life, <laughs> for me. I am like not a bandwagon ass bitch. Y'all know this about me. Y'all know if there's like a makeup product that every motherfucker on the planet of earth is down for and it's like, this is the best thing ever. I'm that bitch is like, mm, but it's really not though. And I'm usually the bitch that doesn't like it. Um, I'm, I, I don't like to bandwagon and like do everything that everybody else is doing just for the sake of doing it. And I feel like that's what's happening here with the whole James Charles situation. I feel like it's gotten to the point where people are hating just to bandwagon and just to hate. The thing about negativity and positivity is that positivity is something that you have to look for. That's something that you have to find a positive in every situation, whereas negativity feeds on negativity. And negativity is so much easier to latch onto than positivity is, okay? So I just wanna put that out there before, you know, all this. Okay, now we can get into it. So as far as Tati's video goes, um, the first time I watched her video, I was like, oh my God, this bitch. No, she didn't. Uh, and I was actually like, fuck yeah, go Tati, that's right, tell them how it is, blah, blah, blah. Um, and then, I mean, it was like so serious when 
I was watching it. I was so fucking into it. Dude, I have forgot to pick my kid up from school. Like Tim called me and was like, yo, I can grab Aiden. And I was like, oh my God, I totally forgot to pick him up. I was just like so engulfed in this video. So then um, I decided to watch it again and really kind of try to look at every angle. And at first I was like, yeah, fuck that, blah, 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 fuck James Charles and whatever else. And then um, Gabriel Zamora came out with his little dish. And it, it, the, the thing with Gabriel is that he's like, you're whining over some vitamins, really, Tati? No, Tati, no, which just annoyed me. But he's like, you're crying over some vitamins? Um, I don't think it was about the vitamins. I really don't. Like she said in her video, it was in her first and her second video that it wasn't so much about the vitamins, but everything leading up to that. And that was kind of the final straw. Um, I don't know if I, and I'm still really conflicted y'all. So just hear me out. I don't know if I feel like that is necessarily, um, the whole story. Uh, I feel like everything, I don't think she's lying or being disingenuous or anything like that. Um, I feel like everything happened the way, oh, y'all, I got my mom's dog. Can you hear him? I got my mom's dog uh, for the weekend because she went on vacation to visit my uncle in New York. And this dog, <laughs> duh, Lil Tink Tink. Y'all remember Lil Tink Tink? You can hear Lil Tink Tink in the background, so I apologize for that. But anyway... Um, I don't know if I think that that was exactly where she was coming from. This is what it... Dogs, stop that. I think this is what happened. I think that the whole thing went down with James. Um, I think that he did the whole vitamin thing and it pissed her off. And up until that point, he had slowly been doing things to piss her off. Uh, and, you know, she stated that. But I think what really broke the barrier for her was Gabriel's video. For Gabriel to come online and be like, you're fucking crying over vitamins. Like, get the fuck over it, bitch. You're a 38-year-old woman or 37-year-old woman, however old she is. Like, get over it, right? But I don't think that was it. I think once he made that video, um, and Tati's like a very smart businesswoman, I think she thought, fuck this they're not going to do this to me. I think maybe she was thinking like drama again in 2018 and she saw how Gabriel Zamora and Nikita Dragon um after that whole thing basically came out unscathed and now Manny and Laura are slowly trying to build their reputations back up. I think maybe she thought that's not going to fucking happen to me and she was pissed because she thought that was happening to her because the video she made was like so out of character for her and like so out of the norm from anything can you hear these dogs like because i won't let them in here because that's what they do is fight um they're just like rubbing all over the door like come on mom let's in anyway um that video was so out of the out of character and out of norm out of the norm for her that um she thought, no, I have worked too long and too hard to get where I am. I'm not going to let these motherfuckers take me down. And I think that is kind of what fueled it because she was so pissed because she thought maybe in her head they were trying to fucking take her down and build a narrative that wasn't necessarily the truth uh, and she wasn't having it. So I think that's why she made the video. I think now, according to her second video, she's really regretting it because of all the hate that has you know, been blown towards James's way. Um, and she says in both of her videos that she still loves James and she still has love for James. Um, but here is my discrepancy, I guess, with Tati. Um, first of all, I don't think that it's right that she waited that long to make her second video uh, because what has unfolded over the past few days is James Charles is now being deemed a sexual predator. And I don't think that, I don't think, I think that he is. Uh, and I'll explain that here in a minute. But I don't think it's right for her to let this shit continue. And I know she made that second video and she said, um, you know, I don't want you to give him any hate. I still have love for him. Uh, I don't think it's right of all the nasty memes and this and that that's being said. But she also did not um, t 
touch on the fact that he is still being labeled a sexual predator. And then you have fucking Jeffree Star, who seemingly, for God knows what reason, tends to put himself in the middle of like everything that's going on without thinking about it first. Because then you have Jeffree Star who, and it wasn't, I will give her that, it wasn't Tati who like deemed James as a sexual predator. Um, but I, her coming out and saying like he manipulated, he tried tricking people into thinking they were gay. Like, I don't know, like, I don't know that I necessarily agree with her saying he was tricking young boys into thinking they were gay. And y'all, I've already stated, like, I don't get down with James Charles. I don't fuck with him. I don't think he's a good person. But I also don't think it's right for the entire fucking world to like berate this kid. Because at the end of the day, he's still a fucking kid. He's 19 years old. And I know everybody says, well, you're an adult at 18. You're an adult at 18. I don't know about y'all, but when I was 19, I was not making the best decisions. I was not an adult, especially as a male, because their brains develop a lot slower than what females do. A male's brain is not fully developed and fully matured until he's 25. So I'm, you know, in my late 30s, and up until like my early 30s, I was still making bad decisions. I was still, you know, doing immature things and making immature decisions. Uh, but it does not negate from the fact that, yes, he did use, you know, his influence, his money, his power, whatever, um, to maybe influence these guys um, into like hanging out with him or whatever. But I also, and that does not make it right in any way shape or form but I also um do not think that James forced himself on these guys I don't think that he necessarily like manipulated them like she claims I think what happened so here's the deal let me break it down for you and give you some kind of reasoning as to why I kind of feel the way I do. And I'm still conflicted. I, like I said, I don't know if this is still like my, you know, boom, 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 my, my real thoughts and feelings on the matter. So I have a lot of gay friends um, and have had a lot of gay friends in my years, I guess you could say. And something that has always been a thing uh, throughout, I don't want to say the gay community because it's not like I'm like in the gay community always, but something that has always been a thing among my friends is um, the friends of mine that were gay being like, oh, uh, I could totally turn that guy out or I could turn that girl out. Like I had this one friend that was a girl and every time I brought a new like friend around that was a girl, she'd be like, ooh, is she straight? And I'd be like, yeah. And she'd be like, oh, uh-uh, I'm gonna turn that bitch out. It's just like something that happens. It's not that it makes it right or okay. It's just what they do. And it's actually like, it kind of fucking sucks for the gay community because, you know, you have those people that maybe don't necessarily agree with that. And then there's people like that, like James, like Nikita, like fucking Jeffree Star, who, let's be real, is not the fucking pinnacle of morality here. And he's the one that deemed him a fucking predator, saying that he is not safe for society really dude like <laughs> obviously you cannot say that and not fucking elaborate on that that's like you know token jeffree star to say something and not elaborate on it so i think it's just something that happens and from what i can tell uh and i'm just you know assuming here i'm this may not be true but from what i can tell they all kind of do that gabriel does that nikita does that even jeffree fucking star does that I don't know if y'all know, but you know, after Jeffrey tweets and deletes per huge, all these allegations come out of him um, saying, oh, straight guys this and straight guys that. He has a fucking song named Straight Guys. He went and like accosted, supposedly or allegedly accosted this straight guy. Uh, and what I don't get down with is, um, I f it's like, here's the thing. I feel like that whole scenario is, taken more of as a joke uh in my group of friends it was always taken as a joke it wasn't like oh my god i'm she's like manipulating me or she's fucking you know trying to get me to do something i don't want to do um 
I think it it was maybe in their friend group more taken as kind of like a joke or like real cutesy and they all fucking did it. Uh, the thing I don't get down with is Tati, you know, coming out with this video and saying I'm not fucking cool with him like trying to go after straight guys and trying to influence guys that um, may not know if they're gay or not into being gay, but then in the same token, being friends and being okay with Jeffree Star, who allegedly turns around and does the same thing. Like, it, is it, because the basis of her video was, you know, he's doing these things, I'm calling him out on his shit, which I give her props for, like, you know, calling him out and trying to like bring him down a peg, I agree with that. What I don't agree with is you letting the entire world deem this kid as a fucking sexual predator when I don't think that that's the case. I don't think I think that's the case. Maybe he is some weird fucking creepy dude that like preys on straight guys and whatever else, um, but I don't think he is. I think that he is a young, uh, egotistical, narcissistic, uh, shallow social climbing rat that um, here's okay this is the scenario that I play out in my head I feel like so it, it, let's let's break this down and talk about the kids okay the guys that he like messed around with first of all this gauge guy um, comes out and says he James tried to manipulate him and you know tried to he told him on multiple occasions that he was straight but you know, he tried to manipulate him into thinking he was gay. And then all these tweets or uh, text messages came out where the dude like told uh, James he was bi curious. Um, and I think that because James is who he is and because these guys are younger, they're like, oh my God, this, I mean, it's essentially a celebrity. So imagine uh, if you you know, follow Kim Kardashian your whole entire fucking life. And you were like, just it, Kim Kardashian, she's like the biggest person in the fucking world, blah, 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 blah. And then <laughs> this is, sounds so stupid, but then you knew you were straight, but Kim Kardashian like invited you to come hang out with her and invited you to do this. Like, you know, as I don't like fuck with celebrities like that, but I feel like as a young person, you would be so starstruck, I guess is what I'm trying to say, that you're just like, oh yeah, awesome, cool. I don't think that James necessarily maliciously intended for his stardom and his fame to like coerce these guys into doing what he wanted them to because at the end of the day, he did not force himself on them. From what I've seen so far, um, he didn't force himself on them. He did not, you know, conjure them into doing anything they didn't want to do. Uh, so the gauge guy, you know, that was essentially debunked. And oddly enough, this kid now has a YouTube channel with 65,000 subscribers. So that's a little sus. The other kid that comes out, this, uh, what was that kid's name? Sam. That situation, uh, I really was like, mm, hold on now. Why is nobody talking about this? So the deal was, is they all went to a restaurant for Tati's birthday. This kid was the waiter. He, uh, James thought he was super cute and was like flirting with him and tried to get, you know, the wait staff to give him this kid's number. And the kid was like, no, I'm not down. I'm straight. And the wait staff was like, no, he's straight. Um, and then he says he was, or no, he was by curious. That's what he said, that he was by curious. I assume because he was young and James Charles is who the fuck he is, um, he was a little starstruck too. So this is what I like assume the scenario. Once I watched this kid's video, the this is what scenario popped in my head to give you guys like a little bit of clarification of like where I'm coming from. I feel like the shit happened, they went to the restaurant, the kid went home the next day, um, he told, maybe he was a little bi curious, maybe his sister knew he was bi curious, he said the next day, my sister talked me into DMing him. So I'm assuming what happened was the kid went home and was like, oh yeah, at the restaurant, there's all these people there, James Charles was like, you know, trying to get my number or whatever else, and I'm assuming his sister was probably like, dude, really, James Charles? 
the fuck you got it you have to message him you have to contact him oh my god it's james charles blah 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 you know what i mean and then the kid contacted him uh what i don't get down with is um the kid said that he you know he showed this text message and the text message said um yo this is sam from the restaurant james was like oh my god you're so cute blah 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 and he's like thank you that's flattering and then that's where the message cut off and he didn't show any further messages but says in the video that they continued to talk for about an hour so why did you not show the messages continuing then like why did you not show you said you talked for another hour why didn't you show that like that's what i don't get I, that's what i found a little bit sus and then um he said that uh, James was in town for another night or something and invited him over there. So the kid went over there and he said that, you know, James was like super into him and he asked him if he could kiss him. He did not force himself on him. He asked him if he could. And the dude let him and he said, so we made out for about an hour. Okay. Um, and I'm still like with, even with all this said, I'm not justifying anything that James did at all. So he said, we made out for about an hour. And then he said, I felt uncomfortable and I wanted to leave because then I knew that I was straight or something along the lines of that. He said that James was like begging him to stay and he didn't want to stay, so he left. So he didn't force him to stay. Um, was he probably really fucking annoying and, you know, just being him? Yeah, probably, but he didn't force him. So there's that. And then uh, he said, after that because I'm pretty sure he said in the video that from that point he knew that he didn't want any type of relationship in that sense with him but my thing is is okay so you know what James intentions were and you know what your intentions were um, and you knew he didn't want to be just friends with you. So why did you continue to talk to him for two weeks afterwards? Because he said we talked for like two weeks or something and then he invited him out to LA or some shit like that. But he didn't want to take advantage of him. Um, if that wasn't your intention with him, then why did you continue to talk to him? That's what I don't understand. Uh, and I feel like everybody's making it out like he you know, like sought these guys, and maybe he did, you know, search them out, sought these guys out and was like a predator and maliciously, you know, wanted to do whatever to these kids. Uh, I don't think that's what it was. And then the kid says, um, you know, I felt uh, really uncomfortable. I didn't want to take advantage of him. So I told him I didn't want to take advantage of him and he got pissed. Um, and then he says he tried to tell me that I was gay. Well, here's the thing. James, his fucking ego. So imagine you're like this 17-year-old kid. And every day for years, you have people telling you how talented you are, how good looking you are, how funny you are, how amazing you are. Of course, you're going to get a fucking inflated ego. And not that that makes it right in any way, shape or form. I'm not saying any of this is right or justified in any way, shape or form. I just want to put that out there. So he being this like crazy fucking narcissist because you're being told every day, all day, like how fucking amazing you are, thinks that, okay, dude if you're fucking by curious like mm, you're not anymore because a you kiss me and b i'm fucking james charles bitch like if you're not gay you're gonna be gay because he thinks so fucking highly of himself he thinks he's so hot he thinks his personality is so great you know what i mean because he's told that every day day in day out so of course him being the narcissistic <laughs> asshole that he is is like um just so you know you're gay because you made out with me like he in his naive narcissistical mind thinks that if this kid made out with me there's no way he's straight because you know he already did the do like he being a young person and narcissistic thinks uh no you can't change your mind you can't change your mind i have a friend whose mom um was married to a man for years and had her and her brother and then decided that she was a lesbian and was a lesbian for like 10 years and then decided she was straight again 
So it's, it, you can change your mind, but I think James being who he is doesn't think that that's like a possibility. So I think he in his head thought, um, no, you're not straight because uh, you made out with me and you did, you know, whatever. Um, and it came out that the kid was drunk. So I'm like, well, if he was drunk, because I don't, when I'm drunk, I've been doing shit I don't want to do. So if the kid was drunk, did he do it because he was drunk? You know what I mean? There's just so many, um, like, loose ends to this kid's story that I'm like, this doesn't sound right. And then the kid freaking makes this FaceTime call. And at the end of his video, calls James and says, um, yeah, so I just heard about the Gage thing um, and realized you were talking to him at the same time you were talking to me. Okay, so if you said that you went and did your thing because you were bi curious, but then figured out you were straight, why would you care? And even James says, um, yeah, and he's like, well, you were talking to him at the same time. James even says, like, in the FaceTime, why do you care? And the guy's like, well, how would you feel if somebody did that to you and then cut it off? So I'm curious as to why he decided to cut that FaceTime call off right there at him saying, well, how would you feel? And not playing James's rebuttal because I'm just going to go ahead and assume that James was probably like, it doesn't fucking matter because you said you're straight. So why is this situation even relevant right now? You know what I mean? So that's what has me like so conflicted. And I don't think it's right that it took Tati so long to come out and tell people to leave James alone. Because I feel like if she like really loved him, she, after, Jesus Christ, the kid lost fucking 2 million subscribers in a day. After the first fucking day and seeing like all the things that everybody was saying online, why would you not then come back after that first day and be like, okay, that was not my intention. This, you know, this has to stop. But now, because she didn't, this kid, and I'm still gonna fucking call him a kid because I don't care. If the legal system says that you're an adult at 18, you don't make adult decisions at 18 or 19 years old or even 21 years old, obviously, because Jeffree Star did the shit he did when he was 24. I don't think it's right that now she's essentially allowing this kid to be deemed as a sexual predator. Like, that's something that's going to follow you for the rest of your fucking life the rest of your life like when it comes to relationships when it comes to careers when it comes to anything that tag is going to follow you forever and for her to wait so long to come back and say you know leave this kid alone I still got love for this kid you know that wasn't my intention but then in the same accord to not address that I don't think that's cool I don't think that's cool at all so um I feel like maybe uh, that is my like unpopular opinion, but I don't feel like he maliciously uh, man tried to manipulate these guys. I think the guys maybe said, um, maybe we're a little starstruck and said, you know, yeah, maybe I am bi curious. I've, you know, maybe looked at a guy or two and thought they were hot. Maybe I am bi curious because it's James fucking Charles and James Charles being the narcissistic, ego-driven, crazy freaking dude that he is, um, probably thought, uh, <laughs> I'm fucking James Charles. If you're messing around with me, you're obviously not straight. Hello. So I think his head is so inflated that <clears throat> he just thought there's no fucking way that they're like not into me. You know what I mean? I hope that makes sense. I hope I'm making sense. Um, but I don't think it's right for people to be deeming this kid as a sexual predator. Because I don't think that that was the situation. I think these kids um, told him they were bi. Maybe maybe not to get clout necessarily. Because like the Sam kid, um, for him to like turn him down and say, you know... Uh, I don't, I don't want to take advantage of you. My friends told me not to take advantage of you. I don't want to do that. 
Um, maybe it wasn't for clout for him necessarily. I think that maybe though, he was starstruck. And I think maybe his sister convinced him into doing something that he didn't want to do because, you know, he stated in the video, my sister convinced me to DM him. Um, but this Gage kid, and coincidentally, this Sam kid now has a YouTube channel. Coincidentally, this Gage kid now has a YouTube and his own clothing line, apparently. <laughs> so I do think that the Gage kid did it for clout or whatever the kids like to call it these days. I do think he did it for that reason. And here's why. There is a lot of evidence that's come out that has shown that the only time he would hold hands with James or put his arm around him or, you know, be, I guess, um, loving or whatever you want to call it, be like romantically inclined towards him was when there were other influencers around, when there were cameras around. So I think that kid's intentions were not the best. I think the other kid, maybe his intentions were uh, more of like starstruck intentions versus like trying to gain following or clout. But I don't think that James like maliciously uh, manipulated these guys because at the end of the day, um, the kids do what they want to do and he did not force himself on them. And I don't think it's right for people to label him as a sexual predator. I mean, these are like means for suicide. The entire fucking world is against this kid right now. And do I think he needs to be brought down a couple of pegs? Cause he's fucking egotistical and social climbing. And, uh, do I feel like all he cares about is money and business? Absolutely. I think he was a shitty ass friend to Tati. I think she helped him get where he is. And, uh, I think he has no respect for his elders, <laughs> as lame as that sounds. I think he's got no respect for his elders. I think he's got no respect for anybody that has paved the way in the community because his head is so inflated that he thinks he is what paved the way in the community. You know what I mean? So those are my thoughts on it. it took me fucking four videos to get that shit out, girl, by God. But what do you guys think about it? What do you think about the whole like Tati being friends with Jeffree Star? I just don't fuck with her being like so uh, taken back by James's actions, but then still almost in a way, probably not condoning them, but almost in a way like by being friends with Jeffree, condoning his actions too. And I also think that the bigger subject at hand is not that this dude is like a sexual predator, but is that the fact of how he acts and what he does according to his demographic. So I think that more people need to talk about the fact that James Charles' demographic is children, literally children. His demographic ranges from ages eight to like 14 and even younger. There's some kids that are like little itty bitties following this dude. And this dude's putting up naked pictures of himself on it well not naked but like seemingly naked he's got pictures of his ass out on fucking instagram that is what i don't get down with if you want to go after and you want to slander and slay somebody for something slay him for something that they're actually doing and what he's actually doing is putting out a real bad message to little kids and i think that that is what she needs to focus on more than him like supposedly manipulating these straight guys into being gay because at the end of the day these kids are who are going to have his back like these kids are the ones that are still following him this dude still has like 10 plus million followers and that's who's sticking by his side and i have proof of that's who's sticking by his side because i was at work the other day and one of my friends at work was like oh my god once Tachi's video like first came out I think it was like the next day after her video came out uh my friend Danny was like oh my god have you heard about all this like Tati James Charles shit and I was like yeah how fucking crazy is that and she said because she's a dance instructor I forgot to tell you that she's a dance instructor and she said um <clears throat> my kids at dance were like oh Danny have you heard about James Charles and blah 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 and I was like wait hold up <laughs> they 
know what's going on? And she's like, yeah, they know all about it. They told me the whole story. So I had to go watch the video because she's not somebody that like frequents the booty community. Like she's not somebody that frequents YouTube that much. So these kids know what's going on. Not fucking cool. So and in their heads, because I was like, what did they think about it? Right. And she's like, they think that there's this mean old lady who's being mean to James and they're fucking not here for it. Like they are pissed because she made him cry and that's how little kids think. So at the end of the day, I think that we need to focus on the matter at hand, which is him acting inappropriately for his demographic versus him like supposedly trying to manipulate these guys, like I said. Um, I'm still a little bit conflicted. If you disagree, that's cool. Like, let's talk about it in the comments. Make me change my mind. What do you guys think that would change my mind? I think I just try to, and, and it's not like I feel sorry for him or anything like that. I don't feel sorry for him because I think he does not make the right decisions. I think his actions are questionable. But at the end of the day, I still, he didn't murder anybody. He didn't rape anybody. I don't think it's right for the entire world to bandwagon against this kid. And, you know, that's going to have fucking, not only could he take that, you know, sexual predator tag with him for the rest of his life, but to have like essentially the whole world against you, I mean, how the fuck would that make you feel? I always try to look at the other perspective. I always try to, whenever I have a conflict in my life, um, I always try to look at the other person's perspective. Uh, like a, I'm like a put my feet in their shoes ass type bitch. You know what I mean? So um, I feel like nobody's doing that though. And again, I'm not sticking up for James. I'm not saying what he did was right. I, 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 I don't even really care for the dude. But I don't feel like there is enough people out there really digging deep drama channels, whoever. I feel like all the drama channels are bandwagging. I feel like there's nobody out there who's really digging deep into the situation and, you know, pulling out bits and pieces that nobody's talking about and taking the matter for what it really, really is versus jumping on the bandwagon and just doing what everybody else is doing. I don't think it's cool. I don't think it's right. Uh, I'm actually curious to see where fucking Jeffree Star comes out in all this because way to insert yourself in some motherfucking drama. And did you guys see, I saw in one video where somebody had said that um, Jeffree Star had um, deleted like a thousand tweets right after Tati made that video. That's a little sus. Jeffree Star. I think he's trying to make himself out to be something that he's not. And I don't think it's cool. Like, I honestly think it's kind of funny that you're the one that labeled him a fucking predator and a danger to society. A danger to society. Murderers are a danger to society. Rapists are a danger to society. Like, crazy fucking schizophrenic murderers and you're deeming James Charles a fucking 19 year old kid that puts makeup on his face and like has some weird attraction for state straight guys a danger to really Jeffree Star you took it a little too far sis you took it too far um what do you guys think about it I'm 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 really curious to see where uh, Jeffrey comes out in this whole thing. Because y'all know Jeffrey even kicked him off of his like, uh, like clothing label or whatever, like Killer Merch, his merchandising label. James Charles' sister's apparel was through Killer Merch and fucking Jeffree Star even like kicked him off of there. Like what the fuck, dude? Jeffree Star's another bandwagon motherfucker. Like he just does what the crowd does and he inserts himself in situations that don't need to be inserted in. I'm actually curious as to what Tati thinks about the whole situation and what Tati thinks about Jeffree, you know, deeming James a predator and whatever else. I'm, I'm pretty curious as to uh, after his tweets came out, what she thinks about it. Is she still going to associate herself with him? That will be interesting to see. 
what happens out of that. So what are you guys' thoughts? How do you feel about what is going on? And I just want to put it out there again. I'm not sticking up for James. I don't really care for the dude. Um, I know that my opinion is unpopular, so I don't want to like get berated in the comments. I, I just, this is just what I feel. Um, I feel it's fucked up to like do somebody, to label somebody that way when you don't even know, you know, the, the whole, what happened. Like you, the only people that knows what happened is the people that were there, right? So what do you guys think? Please let me know in the comments below so we can delve this out, hash it out, talk it out. Maybe you guys will change my mind. I mean, maybe you have like another perspective that I don't, but I've watched a fuck ton of videos on this. I mean, dozens and dozens of videos, y'all. For some reason, I'm like so infatuated with this. And I think the reason is because my opinion is not the opinion of the majority. I feel like that is why I've been like kind of obsessed with it. But if I remember, um, I will link below one of the best videos on this situation I've seen is by a girl named Reagan Wolf and she is a body language reader and she made a video on the situation and kind of reads like Tati's body language from her video and James's body language from his video and she feels the same way that I do. She feels like she doesn't think that he's a sexual predator. Um, she thinks, you know, like the shit that he did was wrong and that he's an asshole. But to label this kid a sexual predator is not cool. Oh shit, I just got mascara on me. So I, if I remember, I'll link it below. If I forget, um, remind me in the comments and I'll put it down there. Because y'all know I'll be forgetting shit. I got the short term memory loss and stuff. So that is my unpopular opinion. That took me fucking four goddamn videos to finally come to a consensus. It's because all these videos keep coming out. Everybody keeps coming out with videos. And girl, can we just talk about the fact that regardless whether they fucking say it or not, I'll give a fuck who you are, what you doing, regardless of what you say or how good you think you are, these fucking drama channels, like this is like fucking Christmas for them. I have not watched one video on this that has less than 100,000 views. And some of the drama channels are making multiple videos a day. Like they've done five, 10 videos on just this subject with 100,000 plus views on this. They're making fucking bank, Veronica. And I don't know if I really feel like it's right to like sit there and make all that money on somebody's, you know, downfall. It's not cool. At the end of the day, he's just a fucking kid. Like, Yes, he's 18 or 19. I keep wanting to say he's 18. Yes, he's 19 years old. Yes, he's an adult. But regardless of what anybody says, I my opinion is you are not a fucking adult and you do not make adult decisions at 19 years old. You just don't, especially as a male and especially in being somebody that's in the limelight. Why do you think all of these YouTubers, singers, actors like all these people make all these fucked up decisions at ages 18 to 25 because they're not adults yet they don't make adult decisions like i said earlier i'm in my motherfucking 30s and i'm i'm, I'm just now feel like i'm starting to adult <laughs> and make like well thought out calculated adult decisions sometimes i don't even fucking do that bitch and i'm almost 40 so just uh throwing that out on the table and i feel like you know, from the people that I talk to, my family, my friends, uh, they kind of feel the same way. Not even in regards to the whole James Charles situation, but in regards to life. Um, I don't think you are adult or mature enough to make adult decisions at 19 years old. So that is what's up. I'm done. Oh, I got to put some yip stick on. I'm done getting ready. Uh, what do you guys think? Are you guys like, I fucking hate you now? Uh, you're an asshole. What do you think about me? Are you like, bitch, I can't fucking believe this is your opinion. And I just want to put out there again, because <laughs> for some reason, I feel like I'm going to get fucking berated in the comments that I don't 
really like James Charles. I really don't. I'm not defending him. I'm not sticking up for him because at the end of the day, I don't think the things that he does are right. I think that the bigger issue we need to look at is his actions uh, as opposed to his um, demographic. Like you got little tiny itty bitties watching him. And maybe it's because I'm a mother too that I can be a little bit more empathetic towards the situation. Um, and see the situation for what it is. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. But I feel like he will redeem himself. It's, he's not canceled. It's ain't the end of his career. Like I said, there's a little... I mean, the kid's still got fucking 10 plus million followers. Come the fuck on, bitch. Uh, maybe he won't be making millions and millions and millions every day like he is. But maybe he needs to not make that. Because maybe him you know, with this huge ass loss, will bring him down a couple pegs and he'll return to the person that he was when he started. Because, uh, you know, according to the consensus and from what Tati said, when he started out, he was a very um, bubbly, like really good kid. And I think Hollywood just turned him sour and his friend group turned him sour. And I feel like maybe he could come back from that. Maybe he can't. I don't know. We'll see. But, uh, yeah. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, that's it. That's, that's all I got to say. I just felt like I need... Y'all know I usually don't... Like, I'll say my bit in peace, you know, about whatever drummer that's going on. But I never make, like, a full-fledged video dedication. But I feel like I needed to get that out. Go watch Reagan Wolf's video on the body language between their two videos because it, she really makes you think differently about the whole situation and it I don't want to say it was her that like changed my mind because from the get-go after watching that Sam's Kid video and then Jeffrey coming out and label labeling him a predator that's when I really started like really delving into it and watching every video and looking at it from every perspective um if you don't agree with me uh, that's okay. That's okay. If you think he's a fucking predator and he needs to go to jail or do whatever, that's okay too. That's okay too. Uh, I would just hate to see somebody get labeled that if that wasn't the case. Because again, that's something that follows you for your whole entire life. Um, people look at you differently. Uh, people treat you differently. And you know, if that's not the case, I would hate for that to happen to even somebody I don't really care for, you know, because that's not good juju, not good juju out in the world, girl. Okay, so put your opinion in the comments below. Sorry you guys could hear the boys yelling at each other. I'm pretty sure they're playing Mortal Kombat uh, and the dogs. So uh, that's it. I got two more videos following this one. <laughs> I do this all the time. I get a video in my head and I'm like, I want to upload this before anything else. And I've got two videos filmed and ready for upload. I've got my subscriber tag and then I've got, um, uh, what's it called? Chemical peel video, which I will probably upload after this one and then do my subscriber tag. So many of you guys want to see the chemical peel. So that's it. Okay. I'm going to go. I'm going to leave and take off because this video is already long enough. So that's it. It's outro time. Thank you guys for watching my video. Subscribe if you want to. If you don't, that's cool too. You can like check back, search my name up like I do for people. <laughs> that's what I do with people. If I don't want to subscribe, I just search their name out. If I, you know, maybe like them a little bit. Uh, like it if you liked it. Dislike it if you didn't because I enjoy a good dislike. Dislike it if you don't agree with me. And I, I want to see how many people agree and don't agree. Okay, that's it. So, I love you guys. And I will catch you guys in my next one. Peace.